Hi guys and welcome to Phoenix and the Nox. Well, we got something in for the Canadian Pony Collectors Extravaganza that takes place uh, on August 10th, 2019. And I'm going to release this video after the event because I want to keep these a surprise so no one sees them. Just so when people, you know, walk into the event they see something new. And... Uh, no, you don't want to give everything away, right? It's got to be a little bit exciting, right? So I had these made from a place called Banner Buzz. And they're actually a really good uh, company that you can get banners made. Um, geez, all kinds of banners, all kinds of like advertising promotional banners or like Huge size, big size, small size, banners with, uh, you know, like stuff you only need. I'm not explaining this good, am I? Well, if you remember my other video where I showed you one we had made before, and this is a, the same kind. It's supposed to come with a bag. Uh, it's supposed to come with the rolls supposed to come with all the pieces so there's two here and they're supposed to be two the same and you get a little carry bag you open it up this one's tied okay here you open it up and inside is your banner and all your hardware to put the banner together and they're about um they're just over five feet tall and they're just over or under three feet wide. So it's quite a, a big banner actually. Yeah, so here's your bag of all your poles and your snap things. And it comes with instructions to put them together. And this is the, the banner itself. So these are supposed to be white with our mascot pony on it. And it's artwork that was done by um, an artist that's in our pony community and she was nice enough to donate the art to us so we made it into a banner and if you went to the event we actually got it made into pins metal pins that are made by the perfectly pin company and I decided to try and get a step and repeat batter made so I'm gonna use these two banners as like um, border banners I guess you can call it but here's her information her name is Kim May and it's Moon Breeze's Arts and Customs and you can find her at Silver Moon Breeze and she's really talented and really cool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get someone to unfurl this for me but let's see if I can do it just for fun here just to show you there's the art isn't that gorgeous it's so beautiful it's so well done I just love it and there's the same thing on the other side and it runs the whole length so let's see if I can get an assistant to roll these out and we'll set them up to see what they look like so you can see um, okay so we got them better. set up side by side and they look really nice your red and white really stands out, eh? Really, really stands out. So, when you see them, if you remember the other banner I had made, it's going to be in the middle of those two. So we'll have three side by side, kind of um, angled, maybe. And I'm hoping it'll make a nice, uh, like a photo background. You know, people could take pictures and stuff. And it'll make a nice backdrop. Now the only thing I do notice is there's like this line. Um, like a crease line mark. I don't know if it's going to go away, but I mean you can't see it from far. You, you have to like really look at it, you know. And what else do I see? I see like it was folded, right? And there was foam uh, in between. But I think it's okay. I think once they get displayed and 
stuff, they won't look so crinkly. And they're brand new, so they just arrived. Yeah, this Banner Buzz company is really nice. And, uh, you know, they're not expensive. And you can get any size you want. I mean, you can get huge 10-foot banners if you wanted them. You can even get, like, tents and stuff to cover your tables and outside tents. You just get anything you want. You should check out their website. And uh, I really like their products and the art. It's very easy to upload the art once you have a file. You just click the button that says upload art and you just drag it and place it on the template. You don't even have to be a graphic artist or anything because I have no experience for that and I did it. So isn't that going to look cool? So if you attended the event, you would have saw them. I just want to keep it a surprise before, uh, you know, so people don't see it before the event. So it's like a whole bunch of maples there all over the place. And I uh, can't wait to see you next year. Look at the shine on the hair. I love the way it's drawn. It's just fantastic. Really, really impressed. Well, I can't wait to uh, see you at the event next year where hopefully we'll have more banners in place uh, made by different artists. If you want to donate some digital art, that would be greatly appreciated. And we do put the artist information on all our uh, items and we do do a shout out at the event to make sure our talented artists get recognition and get known even more. Well, we have another episode of Pony Mail. Came from the United States. And it has to do with the Canadian Pony Collectors Extravaganza, which is a pony convention for pony collectors. It takes place in Quebec, Canada. And it should be something really nice in here. Let's see if I can get it open. was a commission from a fellow pony collector who does custom ponies. This is one really well packed box. I commissioned her to make a maple pony which is the mascot of the extravaganza. And I ask artists to always put their own spin on it. <clears throat> Look at that. This is all airbrushed mostly. This is a stunning, stunning pony. I don't know if the camera's picking up her color properly because she is fluorescent. I'm afraid to touch her. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful hair. Here's your symbol. It's all paint with glitter. And she does airbrushing, so she airbrushed all these things on. The little stars and everything. Just absolutely gorgeous. And she's going to be on display at.